یکی از پیچیده The latest episode in the Middle East's shadow war. According to Iran, Israeli espionage teams have been at it again. This time, introducing faulty components into weapons production chains. The intelligence unit of the Defense Ministry thwarted one of the largest sabotage plots targeting Iran's missile, aviation and aerospace military industry, state television announced. The Iranians pointed the finger of blame at the, quote, Zionist intelligence services and their agents, with the Iranian Defense Ministry quoted as the source. Skeptics suggested the announcement is merely to distract from the upcoming anniversary of the death of Masa Amini, a young Iranian woman beaten to death by police for not wearing her head covering, and the protests that followed. But Israel has in the past been accused of sabotage and assassination operations inside Iran, targeting missile and nuclear research programs. And every deep cover operation runs the risk of discovery and failure. We are conducting a secretive war between us and Iran. This is no secret. This, this way of uh, acting in the secretive war is not something unheard of. Whether the Mossad is behind it, we cannot, of course, uh, take, uh, Israel cannot take any responsibility. Separately, Bloomberg is reporting that a UN watchdog is expected to conclude that Iran is reducing the pace of its weapons-grade plutonium stockpiling, a key requisite in the production of atomic bombs. In the past, Iran has reduced stockpiling efforts as tensions with its foreign adversaries have cooled. The news follows announcements of a prisoner exchange with the US earlier this month, a possible sign of an under-the-table agreement between the two bitter rivals. How a reduction in tensions between Tehran and Washington may be impacted by the alleged Mossad sabotage operation, if at all, is unclear.